Welcome to the Shanghai International Marathon 2018, one of the most unique running races in Asia. This year, approximately 38,000 runners from 85 countries joined this major event. This enormous number of people makes this marathon one of the most famous in the world. The event has the attention of many marathon representatives across the world, with many foreign participants, like the Canadian team. It's always an honor to be part of Team Canada for whatever event it is. Um, I've had the I've had the honor to race for Canada a few times in various events, and um, it's always a pleasure to be, be wearing the Canadian flag. The pre-race events and the package pickup took place at the ICBC Exhibition and Convention Center, where athletes gathered to pick up their race packs, get some fresh gear, and enjoyed various sporty, funny challenges. The kids also had their chance to have fun with many special events. The origin of the marathon comes from the ancient Greek story of a soldier running from the city of Marathon to Athens in order to announce the victory of a crucial battle against the Persians. The distance he ran was 42 kilometers. This year's Shanghai Marathon begins at the Bund of Wei Tan and finishes at the Cauldron Square of the Shanghai Stadium. The organization for the race has been pretty good. Uh, we're here at the Expo Center. We just picked up our race packs. It's a pretty fun atmosphere. The race starts at the Boon and finishes at Shanghai Stadium, so well-known land landmarks in the city, so easy to get to before the race and after the race, and should be good. In the Shanghai International Marathon, athletes from all disciplines can participate. Young, old, pro, and amateurs. All of them have the same goal, to deliver the spirit that running a marathon really can be achieved by everyone. It doesn't matter who you are. Uh, what, I, what age you are. Uh, no matter you are women or men or teenager or senior citizen, everyone after practice, you can join the marathon, no matter fast or slow. You can conquer the 42K like me. You can prove yourself, you can do it. The goal of every marathon athlete is to reach the finish line. But what specifically motivates the athletes during this particularly demanding race? Running 42K is definitely demanding. It takes a lot of energy and a lot of willpower. Uh, there's a lot of training that goes into it. And then to stay motivated, uh, you really feed off of the fans, you feed off of everyone yelling and cheering and supporting you on. 
and you feed off of the people running next to you and around you. You want to do your best and you want to encourage others to do their best around them. Elite runners arrived from different countries to participate and compete in the Shanghai International Marathon. Elliot Kipchoge, who broke the world record at the Berlin Marathon, was there as a spectator, giving an impressive speech at the press conference. The level of competition here really is high. Let's hear from one of the elite athletes, Kenya's Sarah Chepchich here. Okay, it is my first time to be in Shanghai. The organization is a very nice place, people, we talk with people, they invite us in a good um, reception, we eat good and we stay good, it is very nice. The competition here, it is very little tough because we have many Ethiopians and we have some Kenyans, so it is very tough, it is not easy. The race day began with drizzling rain. Athletes started to arrive early in the morning to start their warm-up exercises. Before the start, the race celebrated the 90th year of the historic cartoon characters of Mickey and Minnie Mouse. The race began, and amongst the elite athletes, it was Dennis Kometo out in front. After an explosive start, the elite runners created a big gap, exchanged positions, and battled for the podium. The local runners tried to beat their personal best and keep the pace behind the elite category. The flat course gave the runners the opportunity for a fast pace. In the men's category, after a consistent race full of epic battles, it was Seifu Tura from Ethiopia who won first place in a time of 2 hours, 9 minutes and 20 seconds. Followed by Tsege Mokonen in second and Dixon Kipsang in third place. At the same time and some minutes behind in the women's field, it was clear to see the high level of competition, with a Bergwell Malise from Ethiopia winning first place and breaking the Shanghai women's record with a time of 2 hours 20 minutes and 37 seconds. Second place and posting a time of 2 hours 21 minutes and 51 seconds was Asmira Abreya, with Betty Wilson completing the podium.